Deborah Meaden, 58, is well known for her role on BBC's Dragon's Den says she's always ignored anyone who discriminates because she's a woman. After going into business at the age of 19 she is keen to help other new starters has joined Ideas Mean Business, a new initiative supported by the Prince's Trust. She's one of the UK's most successful female entrepreneurs and a longtime star of Dragon's Den with an estimated net worth of £40 million. And now Deborah Meaden, 58, has that in addition to her supreme confidence, her success is partly down to never bowing to sexism in the workplace, and he urges today's generation of young women to do the same. Prejudice is never a reason to stop, or to be put off what you're doing. My view is if you've got an issue dealing with me then we just can't deal with each other, so I'll just find someone else that I can deal with," she told Female. It's a very powerful thing to ignore somebody trying to put you down or stop what you're doing, but that takes confidence. It's very easy to talk someone into doubting themselves. The TV star admits that she's never struggled with her own confidence, knowing from the age of seven that she wanted her own business because she didn't take instruction well. That confidence served her well when her first business failed and she was able to brush it off and start again. It was a failure. It lost me £3,000 which now doesn't sound like a lot of money but at the time I didn't have £3,000. It hurt, she said. She was 19 years old had her own glass and ceramics import company supplying up market stores. But despite having sole agency rights, the goods started appearing in other high street shops and, without the finances for a legal fight. Deborah walked away. She added, but, boy, did I learn, and that's how I approached business. No one gets everything right all the time, so if you get it wrong, learn from it, change and do something else. Since then she has embarked on a number of other business ventures including a franchise for Italian clothing company Stefano and a prize bingo concession at Butlins. Deborah's top tips in starting out in business I'm very lucky because I've always been a supremely confident person, so when I started out I didn't know what I wasn't capable of, she recalled. When it failed it didn't knock me. I just moved on and tried something else. But that's not everybody's journey, confidence is a big issue. For me one of the biggest crying shames is the stuff that doesn't happen because people don't have the confidence to make it happen. For that reason, the entrepreneur has joined a new campaign Ideas Mean Business with Innovate UK and the Prince's Trust as an ambassador, sharing her experience in business over the years. She is passionate about educating and working with the country's new generation of entrepreneurs, as well as learning from them. She said, the UK needs to maintain its tradition in terms of innovation. We've always been a nation of innovators. But simply because of the political factors we've been treading water a little bit. Young people are behaving in a different way to how I was when I was younger, and it's changing faster and faster. There's nobody in a better position to tap into the future than young people. It's going to help them, and it's going to help the nation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.